Red Sharks NAB coverage is brought to you by Fred, yo! Nothing new, no, nothing new this year, right? <laughs> yes, oh yeah, there's, uh, there's nothing new, Baz. <laughs> what are you talking about? You want to see some new stuff? Yeah, I want to see some new stuff, man. Come on. You think there's nothing new? Yeah. You think we came all the way to NAB after three years and yeah. there's nothing new to show? I just, you know, I flew for like uh -huh. 15 hours or you something. You flew for like 15 you know. hours to come see nothing new? Uh, we got a lot of new things here today, Bess. What would you like to start with that is new, of the, of the realm of new things? You want to talk high-powered lights? You want to start with this? Yeah, why not? Is, is yeah, this what you would like to talk about? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's that? It's a light, about? no? I, I don't know. What do you think? It's, it's like a... Actually, we're calling this booth the spaceship. You can take a look up here if you haven't seen the booth design. Whoa. Cat is amazing, and Cat designed this booth. Uh, this design is actually a full wireless DMX control of all of our Nova P300 and P600Cs up there. If you guys don't know about those panels, the P300C is the size of a sky panel S30 with the brightness of an S60, so it's twice as bright. And then the P600C is the size of an of a, of a S60. It's actually double the brightness as well, too. So speaking of that color science, let's talk real quick about this light. Uh, everybody since day one has been asking us, Aperture, when are you guys going to do point source RGB WW color? And I actually well, asked that at some point. You did, you did actually ask this. You did actually, I do remember you came up to the booth and you were like, so where's the RBB version? I think we had like just shown off the 300D, <laughs> yeah. which uh, by the way, thanks for that. We show a new release and immediately we have to have a new one. Um, so tell yeah. me. <laughs> what would you like to know? Okay, so. Everything. Starting off the bat, uh, we actually designed this chipset ourselves. So one of the things that you gotta know about this industry is that film tech, is actually an industry that we take a lot of innovation from like defense, we take a lot of innovation from like architecture, we take a lot of innovation from, from like the science of institutions. Actually, a lot of LED innovation actually comes from the architecture world where we're lighting buildings. In film and television though, we need to make sure that our colors are not only pinpoint accurate, but they also match every other fixture, right? Because a lot of the time what you'll do is you'll light a wall or something or you'll light a scene and then you want to extend that light, you want to motivate that light and push it even further with something else. So matching light is super important here. So. Not only did we make a point source LED, but we are not using RGB ACL. We are actually using RGB WW. This is the exact same underlying color science of the Aperture Nova. So that same Nova color science, that SSI 84 daylight, incredibly, incredibly accurate color that again is actually higher than the sky panel of daylight uh, SSI as well too. We built in that same color science. What that means, Bass, is that if you actually pull out, and I think a lot of people don't know this. Actually, no, that's not true. A lot of people do know this. A lot of people that are just starting out on all of this. If you take a Gemini and a Sky Panel and you tune them to the same HSI, you're not going to get the same color. That's true. You know that, and that's yeah. a pain in the butt. It is. Because you have to eyeball everything after yeah. that, right? Or you have to use XY control, which is an entirely different thing. The second thing is that even within the same brand, so for instance, if you take an Orbiter and you take a Sky Panel, we're talking about a Sky Panel has RGB A technology, RGB W technology, and then the Orbiter has RGB ACL technology. Again, you try to match these two, Again, you have to do it by eye because these are not the same underlying color signs. So even within the same brand, this is a problem that exists in the industry. And again, this is because for the longest time, film tech has been a niche industry. And because actually designing the components from scratch is very difficult to do. So we spent a lot of time engineering this. Not only is this a hard source here that can change full color temp, and that probably blew out the camera. So I'm going <laughs> to tune this down so that you can actually get a sense of what that color actually looks like on my hand. Not only is this a point source hard light, but if I actually want to change this into a reflector light, all I have to do is come in here, snap this on, and just like that, I can now shape and bring in that light. If I want to change the color of it up here through a dome, people didn't know. We actually rigged up a 600C all of yesterday, and it was up there doing white light. And then today, of course, we have it on full color mode. If you want to change the color of your softbox, your accessories, anything like that, you don't have to gel the softbox anymore. You don't have to gel the lantern anymore. Everything will snap automatically into place. So that's the big innovation that we've done here today, the 600C Pro. I'm not going to talk about other C models, so please be nice if you're watching this to Bass, because I assume we're going to put this somewhere. Uh, people that are asking questions, um, this is the main release for today. I'm not going to talk about any other releases for other brightness models for this. But everything else that you love about the Aperture Pro series is here. Uh, 
battery capability, and it actually charges the batteries if you plug in wall power at the same time. A full wireless control via Sidus Link, and wireless DMX is actually built in here as well too. Um, weatherproofing, you can actually leave these out in the snow in the rain, we're gonna build in all this as well too. Again, these are the Pro Series of lights, so anything Aperture Pro Series is gonna have all those features built in. And of course, for you people out there using Ethernet control as well too, this does have streaming ACN as well built in Artnet. So, uh, no problems as far as controllability. And again, Sidus Link mesh module, because while I understand that the industry is the way that it is right now, um, we're talking about the future of networking. And again, in the future, your lights are nodes in an ecosystem. Every light talks to each other, it verifies each other, it builds a system so that if your phone dies, your network dies, the network exists between the lights independent of you and you just tap into the network to control it. So that's side of sleep. Yeah. Okay, you got me there. That sounds yeah. amazing. That's pretty good. <laughs> you said there's no releases? That's what, that, you, what are you talking You were here yesterday. I know, okay. man, sorry. Yeah. I was, okay. I was teasing you. Oh, okay, all right, fair enough. So that was it, right? No, it's not it at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have many more releases. Um, so basically, if you guys have seen the MC, I mean, did, you saw this yesterday as well, too. Yeah. So the MC, real quick, this has probably been one of our most popular lights of all time. Best, I gotta be honest, like, there's not a single set that I walk by anymore. There's not a single DP that I know anymore that doesn't carry these in their pockets. Every high-end set that I go on has the 12th pack of these going ready to go. And again, the idea of this is, can you make the essential equivalent of an index card that you can carry around that pops and has a little pop of light? And I think when that person made that suggestion, he didn't think at that time that we would do one billion colors that you can do in one device. Uh, wireless networking between every single one of these lights via SigMesh again. Wireless charging via the backs of these. You snap these into the case, plug the case in, and it charges it ready to go. But then the question became, over the past couple years, we love this light. A lot of people love this light. How do you make this light better? So for that, what we have is we have the new MC Pro. And the MC Pro is basically a new light that we're releasing today. Hey, Connor. Do you have an MC Pro for us? Can you chase one down for us? Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm sorry we're interrupting for a second. Bass, you see us interrupting all this stuff? I know, I know. I'm, um, I'm, I'm an annoyance, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> You're not an annoyance. Thank you for coming by. Um, so basically, the MC Pro, real quick, for everything that you've been wondering about the new MC, uh, we're talking about a light that's automatically, as far as literal lumens coming out of it, 40% brighter. Same dimensions as the MC, just a little bit thicker as far as how we go. On the MC Pro as well too, again, one billion color combinations. We've expanded the color temperature range from 3200 to 6500. We've expanded all the way to 2000 to 10,000 Kelvin. We have pre-built in gel, so if I turn this on real quick, you can see I'm already getting a little bit of that intensity here coming yeah. out. If we've done this, we've actually narrowed in the beam angle using built-in optics. So these optics are actually gonna make this light, you can actually get up to three times the brightness readings compared to the original MC in the same design. As far as colors go, again, we've got full CCT mode, but if I want to go back, of course, I've got RGB mode here as well, too. I can actually change that out. I've got HSI mode if I want to be able to pick whatever color that I want. So I'm going to go to, let's say, my saturation. I'm going to turn that up. I'm going to go to, say, my hue. I'm going to tune through whatever color I want. And just like that, off the go, I now have full RGB, one billion mm. colors coming out of here. Also, Couple features that people have asked for. One, this has wireless DMX built into this. So if you want to control this via Luminaire, via Blackout, anything like that, you can not only use Sidus Link control, but you can also use wireless DMX control that is built into this super tight design. We have magnetic backings on the back, so if you want to mount this to any stand, you can just magnetically mount that on there. But even beyond that, we also even have additional accessories for as far as how we want to mount this as well, too. So for those additional accessories, if we want to mount some of those, for instance, all I got to do, do we have accessories, Connor? That's okay, no worries, I'll show it off real quick. On the front here, we got magnetic mounts. And what these magnetic mounts mean is that if I want to snap a grid on there, which we want to snap on any time, you literally just snap on and magnets on there. If I want to snap on a diffuser, I just snap it on, clicks on automatically, no problem. And this all blends in the same way that we have magnets on the front and the back. You could um, be a magician, man. A magician, for what? Why would <laughs> no, I be a magician? Like that. Like, like oh, because I'm doing like the little hand <laughs> stuff? Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be very good at that, actually. Um, but showing off products, I mean, you, you show up enough products enough time and eventually you're gonna, you get a sense for kind of showing these and making sure that they look good when you have them on camera. But again, the products speak for themselves. I don't really have that much of a say over what looks good. Um, it's pretty addicting to watch though, right? The color, it feels it pretty is, good. It is, it really is. Um, again, the whole point of this, right, is, is modular lighting, right? So take one point source, shape it into any shape that you want. Now you can now pick any color that you want. If you have a lantern or a softbox and you want to just say, oh, I really love this softbox, but I wish it was a little bit blue. I wish it was a little bit pink. 
This is happening on my face right now in real time. You can do this via the app as well too. So we got this. Yesterday we also showed off tubes as well too. We got some tubes. I'm going to give this back to Connor. Connor's going to see if we can find some tubes. Um, so basically, I think when we showed off the Amaran tubes before, come over here real quick. We showed these three products. We did a big release a couple of weeks ago for the Amaran tubes and the Amaran flexible lights, right? And for people out there that don't realize how big of a deal flexible lights are real quick, I just want to be clear about how the modular system works, right? So we talked again about the Bowens mount system. You take a hard light, you shape it into a soft light by putting it into a soft light. But what if you want soft light only, right? And when you want that soft light only, you don't want the depth, right? You don't want the thickness. So if you don't want that thickness, say you're in like a bedroom or a hotel room and you want that soft light, but you need to put it up into like the top corner of a wall. For the way that that goes, basically, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut that down. This right here is a two foot by two foot size. This is the F22 from Amaran. This is basically a light dome soft box, but the depth and the thickness of it one fifth the size so you can actually literally if you wanted to you could even just tape this onto the ceiling or you could velcro it or it has grommets so you could hang it and you now get soft light wherever you go and surprise surprise it would not be 2022 if we are not talking about full hue saturation control as well too so again if you haven't seen the amaran lights again the amaran series of lights are for content creators but we're insanely excited about these tubes Perfect tubes for content creators here. And the reason for that is, is that content creators have different needs than a lot of the high-end sets as well too. So on a high-end set, not a big deal if your battery's built in because guess what? You're renting eight light kits already. You're renting 18 lights, 24 lights on a set. Um, if your battery dies, doesn't matter. Swap it out with another one, call your group, come down over, no big deal. But for content creators out there, a lot of the time, your light, if you're gonna spend $200, $300 on a light, you're not gonna want the built-in battery to make sure that every single time that light dies, what do you do? Now it's offset all of a sudden, you have to wait for the charging time to re-plug it in. So what we do is we built in this battery handle here. So basically not only do you have a grip, so you can actually use it for offset lighting, for actually off-camera lighting. Or do the additional lightsaber battle. Or do the additional lightsaber battle, which is very <laughs> important as well too. But you now have basically one battery solution that can plug into any of your tubes. All you gotta do is just get additional batteries. And basically now instead of swapping out the entire light, you can just swap out literally the battery, which is way cheaper, way more affordable, way more ergonomic, and you can be ready to go. And if you don't want to see the actual tube in frame, super easy, you can actually plug right into AC power, plugging right into here, or you can quite literally extend this cable and hide the battery wherever you want and plug it. And now you actually have the lightest tube on the market. This, by the way, is actually brighter than the Astera and the Quasar tubes. I guess this is a content creator light, but we have that brightness there for you as well too. These are not pixel mappable. And the reason I bring that up is because while these were designed to be the ultimate content creator lights, right? These have a different need. My issue is I think a lot of people saw this and they thought, Oh, this must be the Aperture tube. No, 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 This is the Amaran tube. Let's be very clear about that. And basically what we showed off is uh, yesterday, you saw it, we had the Aperture tube uh, 36 pixels in one foot. That's a higher pixel density than any other company. The fastest refresh rate, super fast animations, super high resolution. We had the brightest tube. Amazing. Pixel mapping on the tube as well too. And it's of course side sling controllable as well too. So um, we were showing off that product as well too. And we'll see if we can pull one. But honestly, this, I really have like one last big announcement. We got like a million things I can show here. But um, I think the last ones to mention is the last release that we went over yesterday. You wanna talk about that? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so for people on. that don't know, um, Sidus Link already is basically our ecosystem light. So every light connects and makes an ecosystem, makes a wireless mesh network. Um, what that means is that you don't need a wireless router anymore. You don't need to become a DMX expert. You can actually just patch in. Your lights will make the network automatically for you and you plug in automatically. So one of the biggest things though is that a lot of our users, they learn Sidus Link. It's an amazing tool. You can do pixel mapping, all this stuff. But there's a lot of sometimes scenarios where you're on set, you've got all your aperture lights, and someone brings on a different light from a different company. And that's okay, that's fine. But how do you control that light via the same app? Well, you could open up another app and you can switch through these things. But actually, what makes it a lot easier is with Cytus Link, what we've now built in is we now have Cytus Link DMX. What Cytus Link DMX means is, is that for the first time ever, Cytus Link, your app, can now control all wireless DMX lights. So we're talking about lights that predate this announcement. Oh my God. We're talking about lights from other companies. Yesterday we had sky panels. Yesterday we had Asteras, we had Quasars. And from our app, you can now have all of your lights, including your aperture lights, and include those new apps onto the ecosystem and have them all dance together and go cyan, blue, red, and change out all those colors in real time. So um, I say this because just like the Bowens mount, 
And just like the interchangeable mount that has kind of taken over and really changed a lot of the way that we work, um, guys, mesh networking is coming. And uh, having your lights actually be nodes in an ecosystem that communicate in this way, um, it's coming as well too. And if you haven't gotten onto Citus Link yet, which I, to be honest, I know if you're watching this and you're an Aperture user, you already know how great the app is. Um, start playing with it now because the features and the expandability that it has, it's only going to get better over time and you want to start learning now. So, Okay. That's, I think that's it. I, mean, I could go on forever, but I think that's pretty much it. How you doing? Oh my you god. I'm tired, man. You're tired? <laughs> yeah. I'm tired too. I need a drink, but we it's only like AM, right? This is true. This is 100% true.